Hey everybody, Eddie Holloway, Just Another Guy Podcast. How you doing? I got another reaction video. It's called uh, La Trampa. La Trampa. I'm going to vote for Trump. Official Trump song. Uh, I've been showcasing a lot of Latinos for Trump. And uh, I think basically these were from 2020. And I looked at their websites and they're still going strong for Trump. But these songs are pretty good. And this was the TSO 76 band. So let's take a listen, see what they got. I'm gonna vote for Trump. I'm gonna vote for Trump. For president and make America great. Make America great for you and me. Ay, arriba, ay, arriba. Soy socialista, yo no soy socialista, yo creo en la libertad, la libertad. For more years, for more years, for more years with Trump. I'm gonna vote for Trump, I'm gonna vote for Trump, for president and make America great. Make America great for you and me. Ay, arriba y arriba. That was pretty good too. All these videos I've been checking out, um, these songs for Trump, the youth are are strong. I mean, the Democrats are losing or have lost the black vote, the Latino vote, and now the youth of America. I mean, you have to feel good. You know, you got to have some hope. Look. Again, as an independent, independent voter, you know, they have divided the Democrats and the Republicans have divided to not even work together anymore. You know, so the country's divided also. I think they're leaning towards more Trump because they do not like the way Biden has started these wars, the gas prices, the food prices, you name it. And, you know, everybody's saying, hey, things are getting better. This It's election year. You know, but he's he's put too much money in other countries that it's going to come back and, and kick us in the ass unless a real businessman could get in there and solve the problem. And, uh, you know, but it wasn't as Biden's economy was not even close to what Trump was. Anyway, I don't want to lose my train of thought here, but it's good to feel these, you know, about America, feel proud about America. The only ones I've seen being proud of America are are the Republicans. I mean, the fight, the words, the actions. Oh, and every every Democrat I see online talking about Trump, whether it's a funny meme or we got him or this and that, you have 
But the fact is, since he's a billionaire, they can't buy Trump. The World Economic Forum did invite him to speak at their year. They just had their one in, I think it's in Sweden. And, uh, you know, they want to control the world, the billionaires. But when they took, they invited Trump and he spoke. Oh, you listen to the speech from the guy from Venezuela. Uh, they call him the Latin Trump. Uh, he told them off. And uh, when Trump was there, he says, no, the people rule America. They asked me to protect them, to run the country, to make the best decisions for them. I have to answer to them. So, no, I will not go along with the World Economic Forum. In so many words, that's what he said when he talked to NATO. Oh, beautiful speech there. You got to check it out. When he talked to the United Nations. Did you know that that Trump passed a law, a world law, through the United Nations to protect the LBGTQ uh, family? To make it a, a hate crime to go against them. I don't think any other president did that. You know, did you know that Trump was the first one to... Uh, have an LGBTQ, I hope I'm saying all that letters right, uh, first cabinet member in the White House. Nobody knows that. But Trump, you know, as long as you could do the work, you could do the job, you're hired. He'll stand by you and back you up. You know, I've seen Biden put a lot of people in the White House not qualified to be there. And, uh, you know, and some of the people that he hired shamed the White House, shamed the United States. You know, and he, he quietly pushed them out. So anyway, I love to see the spirit of America in, in the young people, in, in people in general, you know, to have that hope. There's no hope with Biden, but there is hope in America when they do talk about Trump. And when they sing about Trump, we're all looking. We all want the same thing. Democrats and Republicans, we all want the same thing. But they have divided us to take sides. So do your homework. Do your research. Listen to both sides. Listen to Fox. Listen to MSNBC. And make a gut, honest, common sense decision of how you're going to vote. But you got to do the homework. Don't take their word for it. Don't. Take their word for it. They'll tell you anything. People, the, even the news, the news has been bought out. So they'll give you a little truth here and there, but it's up to you to do to go in deep. There's a lot of YouTube out there. Jimmy Dore, Benny Johnson, uh, the Young Turks. They're on the fence when it comes to Republicans and Democrats. They're more on the Democrat side, but, uh, you know, they get pretty pissed at their own party. Check it out. Do yourself that favor. Don't worry. Don't worry. You, uh, Trump is not some monster, not some dictator. He's not Hitler because they love pushing the same words over and over and over again until you believe it. Don't fall for it. Do your own homework. Just put up Trump's presidency and Biden's presidency. And uh, wait, wait, it's that easy. So from Just Another Guy podcast, Hollow Eddie, what's my name? Eddie Holloway, out.